Hello. This is Tanzil Islam with you. Welcome to our presentation on impacts of dividend policy on stock price. First of all, what is dividend? Dividend is uh, a part of uh, profit that is distributed among the shareholders by the company. Dividend can be of two types. Uh, one is a cash dividend and other is stock dividend. Cash dividend, electronic fund transfer or printed paper check transfer to the shareholders. Uh, and stock dividend paid out in the form of additional stock shares of the issuing corporation or another corporation. Mm, dividend discounted model, higher dividend translate directly into higher stock prices, present value increases, stock prices rise. That means uh, discounted model uh, works as higher dividend translate directly into higher stock price. If the dividends are high and the stock price will be higher and present value increases uh, if stock prices rise. Relevance of dividend policy Modiglini and Miller in 1961 proposed a irrelevance theory suggesting that the wealth of shareholders is not affected by dividend policy of the corporation. Now, this is uh, the most critical part of our presentation that when dividend goes down attraction of customers or the shareholders and the people goes down demand also goes down and stock price also goes down that means if dividends goes down then attraction demand and stock price at the same time goes down when dividend goes up then what happens attraction rises demand rises and stock price also rises that means uh, this have a relationship with them impacts of dividend policy higher or lower than expected higher or lower than expected market sentiment may shift causing the stock price to rise or drop accordingly an expected change in price occurs on the ex dividend date when the company decreases uh, its market capital by the declared shareholder payout. Uh, we have developed two hypotheses. Uh, for, uh, first of all, the null hypothesis, null hypothesis uh, and the alternative hypothesis. A null hypothesis states that there is no significant relationship between stock price and dividend policy. And our alternative hypothesis states that there is a significant relationship between stock price and dividend policy. How dividend policy decision affects the firm's stock price is widely a resourced topic, but is still a mystery that whether dividend policy affects the stock price or not. But we have started. Uh, uh, we have started uh, our best to find out the result as the stock price market is already falling. It is tough to conclude the decision accurately, but we have tried our best to find it out that uh, uh, about a cliently effect. Now, what is cliently effect? A cliently effect is an acknowledgement that income-oriented investors are drawn to dividend-paying stock while those who are less risk adverse per per capital gains. Uh, now signaling effect, signaling effect, an increase in the dividend rate may be viewed as a vote of confidence by the corporation board about the company's prospects to increase growth and earnings. We have developed uh, data from uh, Islamic Bank, Bangladesh Limited, the Mutual Ma Mercantile Bank Limited, sorry, Mercantile Bank Limited, uh, Pubali Bank Limited, and IFIC Bank. Uh, and the stock price when we're uh, 83, 
83 dividend percentage dividend percentage was 32 when the stock price was 59 the dividend percentage was 25 that means when 25 is dividend percentage the stock price is 59 when the dividend percentage is 32 the stock price is 83.93 when the dividend percentage is 18 the stock price is only 45 of it Islamic Bank Bangladesh Limited that means it has a correlation that if stock price uh, if dividend goes down the stock price also goes down that we have seen before it also happens in the fourth uh, uh, rest of the banks correlation between stock price and dividend percentage Islamic Bank uh, Limited Bangladesh has a 0.96 correlation and market Hall bank has 0.45 prime bank limited has 0.99 IFRC bank limited has 0.98 so we can uh, see here that uh, there is a high degree of correlation uh, among the between the stock price and uh, dividend percentage that are declared by the company testing hypothesis as the correlation indicates that stock price and dividend declared by the company is highly related there is no reason to accept null hypothesis so we have accepted the alternative hypothesis that is stated that that is stated that dividend policy can be an accelerator of stock price on the other hand unexpected dividend can do pull in stock price but one thing is clear enough that dividend policy impacts the stock price of commercial banks and it is highly correlated thank you everyone